Hi and welcome back to my Bluetooth channel. My name is Sam and today we are going on a little adventure. We are going to Edinburgh to see Miriam Margrove. If you don't know who that is, I'll put a picture here. Um, she's most commonly known for her role in the Harry Potter films as Professor Sprout, but also very much known for her audacious, um, outrageous speech. She says the most random stuff and it can be very outrageous. Um, if you've seen any like talk shows of her, it's just, it's hilarious really. Um, and she has a new book called Oh Miriam Out, which is the kind of like sequel to her other biography, memoir, autobiography thing. Um, she has another one of those out and she's doing a talk in Edinburgh and my mum is going. I wasn't originally supposed to be going, uh, but then she got she got bailed on, um, so I'm going instead. Um, which I'm very happy about because I can't wait to go to Scotland. Scotland is a home away from home. But yeah, we're going, we're heading off tomorrow and the reason I'm filming this beforehand is because tomorrow is going to be chaotic because I, I'm still going to go to uni in the morning um so I got to get up at like half five just get a normal Friday got to get up at half five get to my uni lecture on the hour train and half an hour bus um got to get there for 9 a.m that's my dissertation workshop and then I've got to come all the way home again to then do a five hour drive to Edinburgh um so yeah that's gonna be draining so I just thought I'd film the intro now and then we'll get straight into the vlog after this um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. It's going to be fun and I'll film loads of lovely stuff. Yeah, <laughs> stick around, leave a like if you're excited and enjoy this video. Uh, comment down below if what your thoughts on this video are, if you've met anyone, who have you met that you found really interesting? Um, and subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications when I post. Um, but yeah, let's get into the adventure. See you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Right, so that was my brief stint at uh, uni. It was completely pointless today. I could have skipped, but hey ho, what are you gonna do? Um, so I actually have two packages to open before I go. A little bit of an unboxing. These are pre-orders and a pre-order and a uni book. So I'll show you that. Okay, so let's start with this one. I have no idea which is which, so I didn't mean to knock out the camera, but here we go. Here is the first book. It's my pre-order of Twelve Bones by Rosie Talbot. As you can see, I've got a signed copy. Oh my God, it's so pretty, it's golden. So yeah, that is the first one, which means this one has to be the uni book. Now the uni module I'm doing at the moment is contemporary literature. Um, and we kind of look at all the things that could potentially make um, the kind of era of contemporary literature. Um, but here we go, this should be, if I can, Open it one-handed. Home Fire um, by Camilla Shamsi. Um, I'm not quite sure that what this is about because I just bought it because it was a uni book. Um, but it seems really short. So yeah, that's my little unboxing. We've got Home Fire and Twelve Bones. Now let's get going to Scotland. <laughs> Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. We are in Edinburgh now, we've parked the car, and we're gonna go do some shopping when the show's the show starts at half seven, so we're just gonna walk around Edinburgh. We've pretty much done everything here beforehand so we're just gonna go shopping so yeah i'll see you then there it is
lessons go one in the dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Life changes just open the door But one thing's certain, I'll always be Like. Go around the world. Go around the world because I'm scorched. Hi. Here we go. Turning all the roads into lights. Here we go. You can take me there. Right, so now we're off to see Miriam Margulies. Here's the book if you want to know. I'll see you there. And even when you're next to me, I feel like you were gone. It's all the
So next are two stories that I absolutely adored. They were hilarious about Maggie Smith and meeting the Queen. Uh, they're going to be cut down for time, so bear that in mind. But here we go. Of course it's Maggie Smith. And um, <laughs> she is a fabulous person. A fabulous, terrifying person. But also very real and very truthful. And I got a phone call from the headmistress of our school. Now, I don't know if you know, but Maggie Smith, Dame Maggie Smith and I went to the same school. The headmistress of the school rang me and she said, um, Miriam, we know that you know Dame Maggie and I wondered if you would be kind enough to relay to her this invitation to come to Oxford, open the new school buildings and um, we, have a, we have made a theater in the school and we would love her to come and open it and dedicate it to herself. It is the Maggie Smith Studio Theatre. Oh, yeah, right. So, uh, of course, uh, I went to Dame Maggie and I, I relayed exactly what the headmistress had said. I said, you know, they'd be so thrilled. It would mean such a lot to them if you would come to Oxford again and open the new buildings and dedicate this theatre space in your name. Will you go? And she looked at me with that beady, <laughs> judging look. And she said, No, no, I won't go. Nothing on earth would tempt me to go back to Oxford. I hated the school. It was so no, I'm not going to go, I'm sorry. And then there was a bit of a pause and she looked at me again. And this rather malevolent look came into her face, slightly malicious, slightly teasing. And she said, you'd like to go, wouldn't you? Of course I would, yes. Why don't you? Because I am not there. <laughs> it was very awkward, so I had to go back, phone the headmistress, and explain. I didn't say that she hated the school. <laughs> that, that would have made everybody unhappy, so I just said it, it just wasn't possible to fit in with a film or something like that. And then there was a pause, <laughs> and uh, on the phone, the, the headmistress said, Um. I don't suppose you would be able to do it, would you? And I said, yes, I would. <laughs> I'd love to. I really would love to. And do you know, it, it did happen. I went to the school. They met me at the station in a beautiful vintage car. And the whole school was assembled there. I gave a little speech. They took me on a tour all around the school. Went to the staff room, where I had only been because I was in detention. <laughs> and then they took me to what is now, to my intense pride and joy. In fact, I think it was the proudest moment of my life. And I looked at that little clock and it said, the Miriam Margulies Studio. <laughs> I admire the memory of, of Her Majesty. She was a fantastic person, but she was a bit mean sometimes. I think mean, invited to British Book Week celebration. Anybody who reads books, sells books, writes books, illustrates books was invited. And it was huge in Buckingham Palace, in one of the reception rooms. And I had this mad idea that I could meet the Queen. I thought it would be thrilling, you know. So, and I said, uh, 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 would, it, would it be possible to meet Her Majesty? And uh, this, this person, gentleman, said, oh yes, absolutely, very, very possible. You know, the royal family is here. We can click among the, the grounds, and uh, we can simply form a semicircle, find her, and uh, smile. And if she sees you, she will come towards you and she will talk to you. Forming a semicircle, I mean, I know I'm fat, but a semicircle <laughs> on my own was tricky. So I, I said, there she is, there she is. So we stood there, grinning, 
grinning ferociously <laughs> and continuously. <laughs> So those were the two main stories that I wanted to share with you. I loved them. They were hilarious. Um, but yeah, for the sake of this video's length, I'm going to wrap it up here. And yeah, let's get to the end of the video. Daisy, Daisy. Miserable at the moment. I can't stand them. So I don't really want to go to America. Who's the biggest cunt you end of the video i totally didn't forget to film the outro so definitely not doing it now um but i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like um and subscribe for more content and leave a con comment let me know your thoughts on this video down below and tell me about any experiences you've had meeting a celebrity an author an influencer um let me know any of your experiences down below i'd love to hear them um but yeah, I really enjoyed the trip. It was only a day in Edinburgh, really, and it rained the entire time. We were soaking wet. Like, at one point, I thought, was like, my phone is going to, like, stop working. I'm going to need a bowl of rice. Um, but yeah, it was really fun, really soggy. Um, but we saw all the highlights. Um, and we've been to Scotland so many times that we've basically done most of the things. So it's kind of just like, a, oh, there's that, there's that. It's just really fun. Um... But yeah, Miriam was amazing. I really enjoyed seeing her. She uh, said so many amazing things and I kept missing it on the video. So I did get some good stuff, but there were some hilarious moments that I was like, oh, I wish I was recording that. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to put of her in this video because Miriam has this way of telling stories that is so long-winded. Like, she would go into detail and she'll do accents, which is so cool. Um, but yeah, I'll try and include as much as I can. But obviously, I don't want to, like, just upload her show on here. That's a bit unfair. Um, but I will include some of my favourite points. They'll be a bit cut up, probably. And I, hopefully, I put in the either the Queen story or the Maggie Smith story because those two were my favourites but they were by far the longest stories she told so hopefully I included them um either both or one of them <laughs> you, I guess you know by now um but yeah it's such an amazing time I really really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this video um I'll get back to you with hopefully episode two of Trilogy Talk um I won't tell you what on but it's a sci-fi book series um hopefully that's my next video but if it's not it might be percy jackson related anyway i'll see you in that video um like comment and subscribe love you bye